Hello, my name is Enio Sipani. I'm the author of the text, Functional Behavioral Assessment, Diagnosis and Treatment. Many professionals who receive their ABA training at various universities, as well as other human service professionals, may not have read my textbook. It would therefore be prudent for me to briefly mention some of the innovations in assessing and understanding human behavior that my text originated. I believe the unique constructions in methods and concepts that follow are transcendent. They will prove prescient in the course of history and will propagate across the ages if given sufficient exposure. This is my attempt to do so, and here they are. At the heart of the Sapani Behavioral Classification System is Chapter 3. It presents a formalized function-based classification system, which is direct contrast to traditional classification systems that look at the form of behavior only. And I believe that it provides a better explanation for why a behavior occurs by examining its context. All right, so at the heart of the Sapani Behavioral Classification System is the four major categories, and these have been in some other form and terms delineated by some other people. Uh, I just want to bring your attention to the fact that I had these four categories named this way in two journal articles that appeared in 1990 and 1994 in the Journal of Behavior Therapy and Experimental Psychiatry. And also these four categories have been the mainstay since the uh, textbook's first edition in 2007. All right, so you might ask, well, what's an access function? I've never seen that before. And uh, the equivalent term would be positive reinforcement function as used in the literature. Um, I used access uh, way back uh, because of two reasons. One, it's much easier to explain to somebody who is not trained in the terminology of, say, what positive reinforcement actually is, um, to explain what that type of function is. Also, I guess until recently, positive reinforcement did not have a mention about what the motivative variable was in regards to that operation. It simply identifies that contingent upon some behavior producing some event, the behavior increases in probability frequency, but it doesn't mention the uh, motivative variable called either an establishing operation or a motivating condition or whatever. Uh, another term that you go, well, what is that? The direct contingency function, um, there's two of them uh, for access and one for escape. These involve behaviors that produce the desired reinforcer directly without social mediation. And the term terminology used in most of the behavioral literature is automatic. Uh, I didn't want to use that uh, primarily because everybody that referred to automatic reinforcement seemed to be talking about sensory events only, and there is so much more. It is pervasive for people in behavior analysis to talk about common functions of behavior. I think this is a big mistake and a conceptual mis mistake. Um, there are four major functions. That's what should be highlighted in, a, in any task list. So the holy grail for understanding behavior is to identify which of four major functions is present in a given circumstance for a particular individual. Well, here are the 13 categories within the four major functions. Another advantage of my uh, textbook is the diversity of clinical examples that are used to illustrate the various functions. And you can see I've identified them. Uh, so it's not simply a matter of an explanation of problem behavior with respect to individuals that have severe intellectual disabilities, autism, uh, et cetera. Uh, it encompasses 
the range of populations that clinicians will face. Uh, I'm not the first one to do this. I would credit and cite uh, an abnormal psychology textbook that I think was somewhat popular in the 1960s by um, Leonard Ullman and Leonard Krasner. In chapter two, I cover assessment, and I think there are some unique contributions. First, I came up with the Sapani EO School Behavioral Interview Form, which really focuses on understanding the motivating conditions, or people call them triggers, for behavior. It is a listing of these types of circumstances and whether the respondent indicates that such are problematic. If in fact, these, a given circumstance evokes problem behavior, we probably need to spend less time on what the reinforcer is. In chapter four, I cover functional treatment that is related to the classification system in my book. Let's look at two things I consider to be very important. While my aforementioned classification system for problem behavior explains why a behavior occurs, in chapter four of my text, you will find an explanation for why behavior does not occur to certain circumstances, and it's called the Sapani replacement function classification system. While the need for building in a delay in terms of the individual client student uh, being able to wait for things they want or tolerate things that they don't like for some period of time, there are, of course, people today in the year 2021 who um, provide such training and a methodology for that. Um, I just want to point out that my identification of what I call delay of gratification training, which is for things that you want to be able to delay those, and tolerance training, which is for things you don't like. In other words, aversive uh, events and tolerating them to some acceptable degree if the rest of society deems that as somewhat uh, of tolerable. Um, and this material I actually delineated, not just in my first um, edition of the textbook, but um, I had something called the Sapani Behavioral Assessment Diagnostic Manual System back in the early 1990s that actually delineated these uh, methods to use when you trained a functional communicative response and you had to reinforce it every single time, well, in real life, that doesn't usually happen and people have to learn to wait for things they want and to be able to tolerate some unpleasantness. So I actually had that in the 90s. Um, that uh, manual wasn't that widely disseminated, but certainly the 2007 version of my textbook uh, has those methods in detail.